All right, so welcome back. Uh, kind of. Uh, I guess I'm back. Um, I haven't really been doing videos for a while. Uh, this is a our old channel. Obviously, it was Slovena Farms. Changed the name. Don't know if you probably noticed that. Um, the nest cabins things kind of kind of fell through. Had some issues with the uh, in-laws. Uh, long story short. Everyone's friendly until they're not, and then they're not friendly. Um, so, a little bit of life changes, not gonna get into it now, but basically, I am building a shed. Uh, sun's in my eyes now, as you can see. It is more or less stick frame. Uh, the main difference is I'm not using any plywood, so you can see by the braces here and here. That's basically all I did to uh, counteract not using the plywood and here is a bunch of 5 8 thick by 6 inch wide lumber that I'm going to use for clapboard siding. Um, I filmed some of it. I have filmed didn't film most of it. Um, it's just hard. There's been so much stuff going on with life. It's really been hard to keep up on the YouTube and Honestly, that's kind of the first thing to go when things when things are getting tricky. I'm not going to mess with the camera. Um, and then you got the editing and the, the everything else that some people know about, but some people don't know about. Um, but it just gets a lot of work. I'm trying to get better, uh, hence this channel. Um, I mean, obviously, Nest Cabins is going away as that project. Uh, and basically, we're going to abandon that channel. I'm taking back over Slovana Farms, what was Slovana is now Debian C Portable Sawmilling, and I'm gonna try to make it more guy stuff. I don't know. I don't know what the right word is. Um, Sarah's got her sewing channel, and so I'm kind of taking over this channel, and I'm gonna call it Portable Sawmilling, but I'll have whatever guy stuff I do. I don't know. Sarah, I'm sure, will make appearances. Uh, she spends most, her, most of her time with babies and sewing and doing all that awesome mama stuff. Um, so unfortunately, I don't really get much help with her. I've built this entire shed by myself. There was one time I tried to get her to help me drive the tractor, but I couldn't communicate to her what I had in my head that I needed her to do. So it was almost easier for me to just do it. It wasn't her fault at all, it was totally my fault. I'm just, I was kind of in my own little space of building it, and um, it was when we were lifting up the wall. Actually, I think we do a video of it, and I might be showing it right now. I, I, I don't know how I'm going to edit this together, um, but uh, that's kind of the gist of it. Um, but yeah, I built, built this thing all by myself, um, stick frame. The, the joists and what's the other word girders the girders are four by eights the joists are two by eights obviously cut uh, cut on the sawmill all of the decking is more or less two by six uh, red oak as with the studs it's two by six red oak uh, we were gonna use a bunch of two by six red oak for decking on our nest cabins barn um, but that didn't work Obviously, we're not doing the nest cabins, uh, but I had probably, or I have, 1,500 board feet of basically 2x6, two 2x8, by 2x10, two by 2x12, two by two by yada yada, uh, red oak. And I had a lot of 2x6 red oak, and so I was like, well, I got this wood I don't know what to do with. I need a barn. I didn't really have much pine cut anyway, or I need a little shop, shed thing, whatever. Um, so this is more or less a tool shed to store stuff and have a, some kind of a workspace. Um, as you can kind of see, the roof decking is more or less one by eight in pine. Uh, I've got two by eights for the rafters, uh, two by six for the, uh, what are those called, span? I don't know, they're kind of floor joists, tie beams, that's the word, tie beams. and. There is going to be kind of a loft. I don't know how well you can see it from up here or how well I can film. But there'll be kind of a loft up there for storage. Uh, I can get up there. I've been standing up there building the roof. 
Um, so it's plenty, plenty sturdy enough for what we need to do. Um, and it's a good, it's just a nice little space. It's 12 by 16, eight foot tall ceilings. So it's a good space. Uh, just, I guess I have a little workbench. I've got a four foot wide door just to give you kind of a rundown. Basically, I did two foot on center, 24 inches, and then I lined the rafters right on top of the studs. So it's a single top plate, and even on that right, the top plate just kind of holds it together. Um, so, I don't know, it's just stick frame, nothing special. Um, but it's all lumber I milled myself, it was free. Well, I had to work. I did a trade. All this lumber I got from a uh, tree service guy up the road, and um, they said I traded him a day for uh, this and about two or three times this amount of logs. It was about maybe 2,000, 2,500 board feet worth of, well, probably 2,500 board feet worth of logs that I traded him. I basically milled for a day and got the logs. So uh, it was really a, a good win win situation. But anyway, I'm rambling. The point of this is to say, hey, I'm Charlie. I'm back, I think. I'm going to try to gear this channel towards portable saw milling and guy stuff, whatever that may be. Uh, so, for instance, this shed, uh, even though I didn't actually film it, this is kind of what may show up. Um, this was cut with my portable sawmill. Uh, but I'll try to also put in other videos where I can, where it makes sense. And I don't know. If you got any ideas for what you want to see or what you don't want to see, uh, let me know. I'm, I certainly want some kind of comments and feedback. I was one of the first. So, at any rate, I'm taking over the, slow, the old Slovenian farms, making it into a sawmill and whatever tract in build, building, renovation work contracting work because I whatever whatever I end up doing that I think might be interesting uh, if you if you like stuff or you don't like stuff just let me know don't care uh, I don't want to put out stuff that people don't like from the Slovena days by far our most viewed videos were the sawmill related ones so I, I'm gonna try to gear more towards that but uh, personally at least for work that I've been doing I've been doing a mix of contracting renovation work and sawmilling and it's just kind of whatever work comes up if there's a job i take the job i don't care if it's sawmilling or contracting or whatever um more or less it pays about the same i prefer to do the sawmilling but honestly work is work uh, i quit my engineering job a year ago and work is work so i need to do whatever i can um so that's kind of the two main focuses that i've been doing as far as day-to-day uh, -day jobs uh, we are trying to get into home renovations and flips and that may hopefully turn into buy and hold like we'll buy a house and turn it into a rental like a preferably a vacation rental uh, so we'd like to buy little things that are cute and mountainy and um, you know that need some repair fix them up use our whatever whatever skills or experience and make them cutesy and then turn them into vacation rentals and so that'll become more passive income uh, goals always kind of trying to get passive income but uh, in the meantime we're going to probably do some buy and sells so we're trying to figure out uh, all that but in the meantime of that meantime I'm doing contracting and portable saw milling work um, I'm sure I will always do portable saw milling work when it comes uh, but contracting work I may phase out of that once we start uh, uh, once we start doing doing our own flips and our own work uh, some contracting work is really nice and really beneficial um, some I guess it's really some customers are always looking for uh, $10 an hour labor and you know that's skilled labor is not cheap and cheap labor is not skilled and people don't understand that uh, but at any rate hi <laughs> uh, hopefully I'm back I'll try to stay back I'll try to put I'm gonna try to at least put something out once a week uh, that's kind of gonna be my goal I was kind of waiting until we're getting getting a little more stable
trying to bounce back from nest cabins and we're getting to that point. Um, this shed is almost done and so that'll kind of give me get some weight off my back. I've, I've literally been working every day for the last three, four weeks, three and a half, four weeks um, on more or less the reno contracting renovation work. But uh, when I wasn't doing that, I was building this shed. Um, so hopefully I'll have some time to do videos because honestly I get home at, or I get inside at eight o'clock, nine o'clock and I, I'm not even gonna think about doing that. So, but uh, hopefully that's behind me, at least the worst of it and I'll be able to um, start making some videos. And bear with me, because I, I have very little experience with video editing. Sarah did most of that, but I'm gonna try to, at least for this channel, I'm gonna try to do that. I'm sure she'll help me, but uh, bear with me. I don't know where to look. Sorry, my eyes are wandering. At any rate, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for making it this far and uh, thanks for staying with me <laughs> if you're if you're still here and uh, hopefully we'll be able to put out some good stuff here um, I, I, I think what we do is interesting to people if if you want nothing to do with that let me know it is a lot of effort doing this stuff so if it's not interesting then I, I don't have to do this stuff um, but anyway uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you later